there. Hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I, I, I am your host, Shin Joe Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? Today is Saturday, November the 20th, 2021. Got a happy birthday shout out going out to Steve Mackenberg, Casey Parsons, and, uh, well, Casey Parsons and Steve Mackenberg, these are your two birthday folks today. And you're going to get a song, a special song, song just by me for you. Hey, Steve. Hey, Casey. Hey, you heard it's your birthday today. So, happy birthday, I'm going to say. You know, uh, that's a one more year going away, so a happy birthday to you, I say. I said, hey, Casey. Hey, Steve. Hey, you heard it's your birthday today. Why, that's another trip around the sun that you made. I hope you're enjoying your a special day because, well, it's your happy birthday a day today. I said it's your happy birthday a day today. Happy birthday to the two of you. Whoa, yeah, buddy, buddy, room. All righty, and then, all right, we got them birthday shout outs out the way. How about our Shin Show friends? Those are folks that like or love or just care about the Shin Show. We got Jamie O. Driscoll and Gary Joan and Abbott. Gary Abbott and uh, Jamie O. Driscoll. All right. And then I got my pokey pals, Amanda S. Little, Joseph Marshall, and a new one jumped on there today, Amy L. Miller. So we've got our uh, pokey pal shout outs too. These are my Pokey Pal gals plus Joseph. He's my Pokey Pal from. I'm not sure where he's from. I think. Well, no, I. He might be from around here. Uh, he's very. He's very politically correct. That's for sure. He's my. He's he's right on the page with me on politics. Politics. Yes, sir. Politics. Anyway, hey. That being said, we're gonna jump on over here and do some weather forecast for you today. And the weather is going to be brought to you today by Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church is located at 2054 Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri, 63301. It's pastored by ordained pastor John Schumer. And, well, it's a very special non-denominational Christian church because we stick to the Bible. That's right, every word that's preached for on in the uh, Chris, uh, Refreshing Word Fellowship Church comes out of the Bible. Amen. Amen. Anyway, hey, uh, you can get in touch with us by dialing up the old phone number at 636-333-0594. That's 636-333-0594. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. We've got our Sunday services at 11 a.m on Sunday, which is very fitting because that's why we call them Sunday services. And then we have an hour of power prayer on uh, Thursdays from 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. Hey, if you come in uh, on the 11th, we're going to have some food. Chow down. Not the 11th. Oh, next month. Yeah. The 11th of next month. We'll have, we'll have some eats for you. Come on in. Get some eats and some treats and just let me know uh, that you're on your way, or better yet, just call 636-333-0594 and uh, let them know so that we can figure out how much uh, food to prepare. Prepare. All right, here's that weather forecast that I had promised to you. Well, I think I've just pulled that. All right, here's that weather forecast I promised to you. It goes like this. For the remainder of the day, cloudy skies, slight chances of rain, showers, and with low temperatures of 46 degrees Fahrenheit, winds will be south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, Sunday, November the 21st, cloudy early with partial sunshine expected late in the day. Slight chances of rain showers with high temperatures of 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Generally fair with low temperatures of 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be north to northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then for Monday, November the 22nd, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy, highs around 40 
5 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Clear skies overnight with low temperatures of 21, or, sorry, 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be light and variable southeast at about 5 miles per hour. And then Tuesday, November the 23rd, sunny skies with high temperatures of 54 degrees. Winds are going to be south to southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Few clouds overnight with low temperatures of 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then for uh, Wednesday, November the 24th, cloudy skies with high temperatures of 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Clouds with uh, showers well, throughout the night. Low temperatures of 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain 30 or 40%. 30 plus 10 percent. That's 40 percent. All right, then, for our fifth and final day of our five-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area, Thursday, November the 25th, cloudy skies early, then partly cloudy in the afternoon. Slight chances of rain showers with high temperatures of 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Clear skies overnight with low temperatures of 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that, my friends, is your five-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. What's coming up? Upcoming events. Well, we got some. We got some upcoming events. And who is our upcoming event uh, sponsor? Why, that would be... Oh, well, that ain't the one. That would be Jamie O'Driscoll. That's right, Jamie O'Driscoll. Is a uh, has seasonal wreaths by Jamie. That's right, she sure does. And, uh, well... What better? We've got the holidays coming up. It's Christmas, you know. The, that's the biggest holiday for wreaths. And, well, there we go. You can get them uh, on Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie on the Facebook page. Go over there, peruse her products, and take a look-see at what she has previously made. Might be something that will strike your eye. All right? All right. How about Christmas traditions here in St. Charles, Missouri? Yes, Christmas Traditions is a long-time event taking place down on Main Street here in St. Charles, Missouri, where Santa Claus is eh, from all around the world gathered just to say hi to those passerbyers here in town. So if you want to visit your Santa Claus from your past, if you grew up in another country or another place, part of the world, why well, then you just come on down to Christmas Traditions and meet with old Papa and the German Santa Clauses and the French Santa Clauses and all the Santa Clauses from all around the world. Okay? Well, all righty then. That being said, uh, they start uh, on... They will start on... Uh, I don't see a start time. November 26th, and they will run through December 24th. That's right. Opening day uh, it will be November 26th uh, from noon to 9 p.m. Wednesdays from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Fridays from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Star uh, Saturdays noon to 9 p.m. Sundays noon to 5 p.m. Christmas Eve, December 24th, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Because Santa Claus got to get out there and get off on his road on his trip around the world. And if you notice, there's Santa Clauses in every country. So that's how he does it. Ja-ha. All right. Hey, you know what else? We got another little sponsor out there today. Uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, my friends down at uh, Helping Hands Thrift Shop and Foster Care Closet. Yep, they're located at 508 South 5th Street, St. Charles, Missouri, 63301. That's right in there by the old Dollar General, you know. If you uh, are cruising down 5th Street and you pass up the Jolly General, then you just drove past Helping Hands Thrift Shop. All their prices in there are like really good prices. Most of their stuff's only a buck or a dollar or, you know, the round thing, silver, the silver round thing, dollar. That's right, paper money, real money, cash money, a dollar. A lot of stuff. Now, I'm not going to say everything in there is only a buck, but I'm telling you what. When you go in there, you might find a treasure that you didn't even know you wanted until you saw it. Right then and there, you said, wow, boy, I've been looking for something like that. that it will make the perfect gift for so-and-so. 
But you know what? Not only are they the thrifty little nif- a nifty little thrift store, but they are also a store that likes to give back. That's right. They like to give back to the community. And what they're getting ready to do is start a foster care uh, children's uh, toy drive. So from November 19th through December the 9th, you can donate new toys from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. each and every day except Sundays. They're not open on Sundays. But Monday through Saturday, from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., donations are accepted for new toys for children that are in the foster care program. Okay? Plus, you know, any foster care kid that's getting ready to go into a new home, he can go on into... Uh, helping hands thrift shop and be fully dressed fully clothed for absolute no cost so just remember that folks when you shop at helping hands thrift shop at 508 south fifth street here in st charles you're doing more than just buying something for you you're buying something for somebody else too all right we're already in here we go happy happy Birthday baby Although you're with somebody new Thought I'd drop this line to say That I wish this happy day Would find me beside you A happy, happy birthday baby No, I can't call you my baby Seems like years ago we met On a day I can't forget Cause that was when I fell in love with you Do you remember the means we had for each other? You were my pretty and I was your baby How could we say goodbye? Hope I didn't Spoil your birthday. I know I'm acting kind of crazy. So I'll close this note to you. Wishing good luck and wishes too. With a happy, happy birthday, baby. I said a happy, happy birthday, baby. Do you remember the names we had for each other? You were my pretty and I was your baby. How could we say goodbye? Hope I didn't spoil your birthday. I know that I'm acting crazy. So I'll close this note to you. And with good luck and good wishes too. Happy, happy birthday, baby. Babu, baby, boo. Sorry, just uh, something that came across my mind that I wanted to, wanted to, wanted to, wanted to, wanted to sing. Boom, boom. I heard about her from a friend of mine. He said she lived across the county line. The sweetest girl, the, the sweetest grape that ever grew on the vine. And now that that's when I'm spending all my time. Her daddy Robert and her mama Ruth. They had a daughter they named Bobby Sue. And now she's 18 and she knows the truth. Nobody's gonna tell her what to do. Ba 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 Can't uh, can't you see my love is true? I want what want a ma 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 marry you. Ba 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 I take her driving on a Friday night, straight down the highway in the clear moonlight. My Chevy's humming as she holds me tight. We'll find a preacher and we'll do it right. Her daddy told her that she'd have to wait. Her mama said, don't make the big mistake. 
But we'll keep a drive until we're out of the state. And when they find us, it will be too late. ba 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 I can't wait to uh, see my love is true. I want to ma 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 marry you. ba 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 I said ba 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 I want to ma 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 marry you. Ah uh, pa 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 all right, all right, all right. Hey, that's it. That looks like it's story time for uh, the kids. Hey, kids, jump up on the couch or on the bed. It's time for TV Grandpa. So get ready to rest your little head. TV Grandpa Shenandoah is coming to you, and we're about to read you a bedtime story. I like to reach out to my grandkids on this special way because, well, don't get to see them all the time, and, well, this is my chance to read them bedtime story each and every day. So here we go. Today we're doing uh, all for a per, uh, paizu. These are riddle stories for kids. There lived in the valley a very wealthy merchant who was not at all happy with his only son. The boy showed no signs of intelligence or creativity, much less any willingness to work. His mother always thought the best of him, and however, he was constantly making excuses for him. Now, when the lad reached the age of to marry, his mother begged the merchant to seek a proper wife for him. The merchant, however, was too much ashamed of his lazy son, and in his own mind had fully decided never to have him married. But the mother had set her heart on this and it was the one thing that she had been looking forward to for years. To have her son remain a bachelor all of his life would be unthinkable. She simply would not agree to this for a moment. And so she urged, uh, ex and so she urged excuses for her son. She claimed to have now and again noticed extraordinary qualities of wisdom and intelligence in him. Her speaking in this way only annoyed the merchant. Look here, the merchant said to his wife, one day when she had been praising her son, I have heard this many times before, but you have never once proved it. I do not believe there is a particular part participle of truth in anything that you say. Mothers are blind, however, to satisfy you. I will give the fool another chance. Send for him and give him this one, one small coin, this piece up. Well, tell him to go to the bazaar and with this one pizza to buy one item. That one item must be something to eat, something to drink, something to chew on, something to plant in the garden, and some food for the cow. The mother told the boy those instructions and gave him the pizza, and the boy left. When he came to the river, he became alarmed and wondered, What can I can be bought for only one pizza to eat and to drink? and do all the other things my mother asks for. Surely this is an impossible task. At that moment the daughter of an ironsmith came up. Seeing the lad's unhappy expression, she asked him what was the matter. He told her everything his mother had ordered him to do. I know what you can do, she said. What will the girl suggest? Well, here we go. 
go and buy a watermelon. One um, with one pizza, said the girl. It provides something to eat, something to drink, something to chew upon, something to plant in the garden, and some food for the cow. Give it to your parents, and they will be pleased. And so this excited the boy, and, and, and this is what the boy did. And when the merchant's wife saw the cleverness of her son, she was very glad. Look, she said to her husband as soon as he came home, this is your son's work. Actually, mother, said the boy, the daughter of an ironsmith advised me to do this. Nevertheless, the father was impressed, and he, the lad had found such a fine solution. And so they invited the family of the ironsmith to their house for dinner. Both parents were pleased to see love bloom between the two young people, and so the daughter of the ironsmith married the merchant's son, and they laid be the and the lad became a hard working young husband, and they lived happily ever after. There you have it. That's it. That was the uh, Pisa uh, story for kids. That was bedtime story for, um, from TV Grandpa Tonight, kids. Hopefully it got just enough to put you to sleep. Because otherwise your mom will be yelling at me and your dad will be yelling at me. And somebody will be yelling at me because I didn't give you a long enough story to go to sleep on. But I, I digress. Looks like it's daily bread time for uh, Shinsho. And, well, the daily bread's going to be brought to you today by The Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading in the Bible with Briscoe 2021 is Ezekiel 14 through 15 and James 2. Don't forget to uh, tune into the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. He fills the empty. That is today's devotion in the Bible with Briscoe. I mean, I'm sorry, that is the devotion in the uh, daily bread portion of the program. He fills the empty. And today's scripture and insight will be John 10, 1 through 10. And we will get right to that right now. The Good Shepherd and His Sheep, John 10, 1. Uh, Very truly, I tell you, per, uh, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter uh, the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Jesus uses this figure of speech, but the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. Therefore, Jesus said again, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for this sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through, the, through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and what uh, uh, steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and they have it in the full. I come so that they may have life and that they have it in the full. And that was John 10, 1 through 10, which completes the daily bread portion of the program that was brought to you today by The Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is the daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Don't forget to tune into the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. Hey, my friends, hey, that's it. That's the Shin Show in the nutshell. 
That's right, or the nut in the Shinsho. Whatever, you know, here I am, and here we go. Oh, well, goodbye, my friends. It's uh, time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's uh, time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Hey, this here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here. And I hope that you are too.